What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about IGN's tweet talking about their pay rate, uh, trying to look for more people to work for them. Now, this, I believe, happened yesterday, and it blew up. It blew up. There are a lot of retweets, a lot of quote tweets to this person asking for people, and it didn't exactly go the way I imagine IGN thought it would, where I wouldn't say exactly most of these are people like applying giving their portfolios as IGN asked for in the tweet and we'll read the tweet out I just kind of want to set the scene it hasn't gone so well and I want to talk about it in this video so let's read the tweet first so this comes from Kat Bailey and she says IGN is looking for new freelancers to assist with the daily flow of stories in games entertainment tech and science $20 base rate per story sliding scale for heavier reporting DM with an introduction and portfolio for details then she says we're especially interested in folks with an interest in entertainment TV news movie news etc tech and science now I'm let me just say I'm kind of unsure why science is something that not that science isn't important but I don't really know why IGN that talks about games is so focused on science uh, I don't I I've, I think I've seen like stories of them talking about like black holes and stuff. So maybe they're looking for like more fun anomalies like in space and travel, like things that maybe interest younger minds. Maybe that's what they're going. I really think that's kind of like a reach. Like they're trying to get into another space. On top of that, you know, it's very clear, by the way, let me just kind of throw this in there. IGN used to be like not solely uh, even the time that I used to go on IGN about 10, 12 years ago. It wasn't just about games. Okay. But it. Like gaming is the primary thing it's the main thing and it seems like now it's more like games are part of it but then there's also a really good portion that are movies and tv shows and almost like pop culture uh like stuff so it's not exactly like a 90 10 it's probably more like a maybe even like a 50 50 or like a 60 40 but with those 40 percent being all that other stuff so just to kind of throw that in there ign isn't solely about games maybe it never was but i i think it used to be way way more than it used to be now putting that aside we have this pay rate right twenty dollars now this is what is causing people and i have not seen many people again messaging their portfolio people are actually making fun of the fact that they want twenty dollars for a story and you're supposed to give them some sort of like award-winning prize like you know, what are your stories that you've written like where have you appeared on the wall street journal like send that to ign so they can pay you 20 bucks so here's the weird thing and, and i'm not saying twenty dollars isn't low because it absolutely is low but what's funny i think is kind of the mentality of people with wanting to work at these places and i think it comes off a lot worse because it's ign right Here, like twenty dollars when i make a video most videos i make my videos specifically i guess on this channel there's probably like 10 in the entire history of this second channel that's earned over twenty dollars for the video so I'm not saying that is in oh that's actually too high it should be like ten dollars per video but I think what's funny is because it is IGN and because you expect like they're the big dogs there's think about the gaming websites out there when you think of like GameSpot and Polygon and Kotaku like if you are thinking of these which I don't but you know if you do these are not as big as IGN IGN is the biggest of all of them um maybe like somebody like bloomberg pays jason Schreier more than somebody at ign pays their person but in general ign is the top dog so when you have the top dog offering twenty dollars now and i want to make it clear because she makes it clear and you know i, I want to just make sure i guess i'm reporting it accurately this is kind of like the bare minimum this is like a story that shouldn't take you long to and and again accurate reporting is what i'm trying to do i guess here but i i, I but I, it's also still funny and still stupid because it doesn't matter their excuse for the 20 dollars is like well it's a sliding scale and stories that take more work basically take more time you will be paid more okay so it's 20 dollars if you could kind of just throw something together but the thing is you're still writing for the biggest gaming website on the planet okay now maybe it's because they're not making as much as they think they are they you know they kind of like have that mentality or people may think that ign makes maybe it's they don't actually make as much as you think uh maybe they're losing money maybe they're losing revenue because people aren't really going on their sites anymore maybe they don't care but well like they're trying to get into the science and tv space but you know obviously that's not what they're known for so are they gonna pay like 50 60 dollars per article or and, and 
you're, you're seeing other people kind of come out and say like that is extraordinarily low there are people that make like double that triple that i almost feel like i'm defending them too much right so like when it comes to me even like on my main channel right like i most videos it, i guess it depends on which ones but a lot of the news ones or even like the leak ones they don't make 20 dollars per but i think the thing is like i'm enjoying it it's something that that i'm passionate about it's something that i'm trying to grow and also i don't have the same expectations as an IGN and again I think that's kind of the biggest point right like if you're working for an IGN and you're being paid 20 versus if you're if you're a youtuber like me making however much I make an, an individual video every month those are a lot different and you'll see some people out there saying like some of these sites require you to do or some of them actually pay like a base salary of like 25 30 35 thousand a year and they'll expect you to write like 30 articles now 30 thousand a year isn't horrible uh, it's not amazing but it's not horrible and that kind of equates if you're doing 30 articles a month every month for an entire year that equates to more like 80 85 dollars an article so that's a lot better than what ig ign basically is paying what you would imagine to be like a minimum wage for a gaming journalist site i think it just kind of comes across as laughable because they are supposed to be the top dogs you'd expect some ri i don't even know why they put the money in the tweet that kind of like it didn't come across wrong but it's like what were you trying to like you see 20 bucks and you're like oh sweet but here's the thing like when you write that here's what i think ign was trying to do i know i'm jumping around a lot and i'm really sorry this entire yesterday and today i haven't been like saying things exactly the way i wanted to say them 20 dollars, and the way that they put it in the article or the tweet how i think they meant it okay is when you're a 20 something like age 20 something person right you're hanging out whether you have a, a job full-time part-time multiple jobs uh you know you're still living at home like whatever whatever the situation is right you know you're out there and you see oh 20 bucks an article like easy i'll just submit a quick article get 20 bucks move on with my it kind of comes across in that way but i think a lot of the people that ign probably does want or probably the people that really do want these jobs do will not settle for something that low does that make sense so i think somebody like even honestly like if i didn't hate them so much or if i was a good writer i don't even know if i'd be considered a good writer probably not but like 20 dollars if it takes you 30 minutes to do the article and you do it once every other day or something you know like it's actually not that big of a deal but how many people would actually do that the answer is very very little and again those people are probably not people that you, you could argue i'm not saying this is like for everybody but you could maybe argue like maybe wouldn't take it as seriously or at the very least like maybe they wouldn't be people that stick around long term i think the people that ign more or less wants would be these freelancers that would constantly be coming back right and again when you have people that do that those are the people that would expect more money so the money amount and the way that's worded and all that stuff it comes across as insulting to the audience that you're most likely going to get that wants to apply the audience that maybe it comes across as attractive to probably won't actually like it comes across as attractive but they probably won't end up doing it and again the overall look that you've spun for yourself now is that you're cheap is that you're the biggest site out there but you pay horribly at least to i'm not saying in general i'm sure the people and i know this right even uh you look at colin moriarty or greg miller at the time that they worked there they made now california is also you know you got to make like ten thousand a month for an apartment i'm just kidding it's a slight exaggeration it's a little bit different over there right because of how uh, how expensive it is just uh day to day but I, I know they made a lot of money right they they definitely got paid very well for their respective uh positions but something like this again you have that too maybe there's freelancers that are living in california that want a job at ign or they're using this as a stepping stone and what you have to write an article every you have to write like an article an hour so you probably have to write like five articles a day just to make a livable kind of no maybe this isn't supposed to be livable stuff like that there's a lot of different ways to look at it ultimately it doesn't insult me at all because I don't care and I would never do it anyway. And I don't actually think they'd ever accept somebody like me in the first place, even though you would think a YouTuber maybe with some sort. But again, like they're not even looking really like they say games. Games was the first thing of their criteria that you could write about. But it was the they then admitted that it's the least important. They actually would prefer everything else. So 
you know, you would think maybe somebody like me would be attracted, uh, or they would be attracted to somebody like me, would not happen, but I don't really get offended by it, but it's just funny that it comes across as extremely cheap for the top dog. That makes me wonder, like, if I go and I pretend, say I make, like, a f fake persona, if I go to GameSpot and I email them and I say, like, how much is it to freelance? Like, are they going to tell me $10, $15 for an article? Like, what is the going rate at all these other places? If IGN is only 20, again, yes, it is a sliding scale, but they said like, like if you do like the bare minimum, it's just, it's a, it's a normal, like run of the mill story, 20 bucks. And again, funny. And I think this is, and people are having a laugh at it too, of, you know, emailing your portfolio. So, you know, give them, give, the, that's another thing. Actually, let me say this. I'm looking at the time. I'll end it here. When I was just saying about, you know, the people that they're looking to attract versus who maybe is going to do it again. Like the people that this attracts to would be somebody who's just looking for some quick money, you know, every couple of days, like literally they're going to put in the bare minimum. They're, they're, they're going to get that article out, whatever, right? The people that maybe would want to do it, but not for that money are like the actual people. And then, and then, but the, like the money obviously turns them off. And the tweet says like emailing, your, now I'm not saying you should be allowed to write for IGN without having some sort of background in any, you know what I mean? Like, I do think you probably should be interviewed or whatever. You should give some sort of thing. But just the way that they worded it is like, well, give us your 10 years of experience so we can pay you t uh, $20 an hour. You know what I mean? It comes across the wrong way where it's like, well, we want these people with loads and loads of years of experience so we can pay you the bare minimum. And again, that's the wrong, those are the people that probably you do want and probably would want to work for an IGN at a really good amount of money, but that this money is not going to work for them. You know what I mean? So you're not going to get a portfolio of somebody, again, somebody like me, who maybe, let's just say, like, I want the 20 bucks and I want it every other day. I don't have a portfolio. You know what I mean? And, and, or you could say, or somebody else. Somebody else has not a great portfolio, but they, at least they have a portfolio, right? It just comes across the wrong way. I'm having a good laugh at it. Anytime you can laugh at IGN is a good day, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you're all subscribed. Bell icon turned on so you know when these videos go up. And I hope to see you all on the next video.